for the people of God to enter. Step out of the nest, spread your wings and soar, surrender. Fall to Jesus, fall fully in love. Concise knowledge. Uh, uh, it's, 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 worth, it's, it's worth the celebration. Uh, we, we celebrate you guys, honestly. God, God, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Because indeed, what we call him, that is who he is, that is what he is, and we are not exaggerating. In fact, we are under, we are all under girating. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We exhort you. Amen. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Can you sing a little? Hmm? Yeah. Our ah, Father, who oh, will never ever fail me. Ah, I am a Father who will never ever fail me. Jesus. He will never ever fail me. Rock of ages, never ever fail. I have a father. He will never ever fail me. Say I have a father. He will never ever fail. Yes, Jesus is my father. He will never ever fail me. Say rock of ages. Rock of ages never ever fail me. Lord, no, you never ever fail me. Yeah. He will never, never fail. He will never ever fail me. Rock of ages never ever fail. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise this morning. Thank you. Thank you. We have run to you for refuge. We have run to you for safety. We've run to you for salvation. For healing. For keeping. For guidance. For everything. For supply. For help. For strength. We give you praise, Lord. We glorify in our lives. Father, we take hold of all you have for us this morning. Be thou glorified, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please greet your neighbor warmly. Tell that you are happy to see them. Let's celebrate God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Good morning. How are you doing? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, let's get cracking. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, we just today, I will just do the last bit. Not, it's not the last. We still have about maybe three more classes, but we we'll just round up, we'll up today. Is that all right? Yeah. When you see me next time, we'll be starting lesson four. Uh, <laughs> let's just, this lesson two, has, I thought it be, it's, been, it's been long. So let's just stop. Just stop today. Uh, let's just end up with, when you see me, it'll be lesson four. Hallelujah. Okay, um, Hebrews chapter 8. Today is the 10th part of a better covenant based on better promises. Part 10 today. So we just round up. Hallelujah. Where is it? Hebrews, who is on the console? Yeah. Now this is the main point. 
Oh, actually, let us round up. Of the things we are saying, we have such what a high priest who is seated at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven. If you are wondering why your bad behaviors have not caught up with you, it's because you have a high priest. Hallelujah. Not because you are so good. That is the reason. And those of you who don't sleep and who don't do anything, you're always fasting day and night trying to untwist the hand of God to bless you. I don't say don't pray, I pray. You better realize <laughs> you are not really getting anything moving. It's because your prayer is actually perfected because you have a high priest. You know why? Because you pray based on what you want. But high priest help you to turn it to what God wants. Because what are you asking? You're asking stupid things. But the high priests, by the time he finally packages it and presents it on your behalf to God, it becomes acceptable. Glory be to God forevermore. That's the summary of what we are saying. We have a high priest. Go back. Who is seated at the right throne, at the right hand of the throne of majesty on high. Let's go on. A minister of where? Of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord erected and not man. <laughs> For every high priest is appointed to offer both gifts and sacrifices. Therefore, it is necessary that this one also have something to offer. For if we are on, if we are on earth, he would not be a priest, since there are many priests who offer gifts according to the law, who serve a copy and shadow of the heavenly things, as Moses was divinely instructed when he was about to make the tabernacle. For he, God, said to him, See that you make all things according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. Okay, but verse 6. But now he has obtained what? A more excellent ministry. In comparison to what Moses obtained. Jesus has obtained what? A more excellent ministry. In as much as he's also what? A mediator of a better covenant which was established on better promises. Say better. better. What we have is better. Hallelujah. For in that first covenant had been faultless. Ha <laughs> ha. Then no place will have been sought for a second. Because finding fault with them, he says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Say amen to that. The Bible says we have a better covenant. And what was it made better? Because God found find fault with the previous covenant. And so all of you that want to serve God in the Old Testament, they are still going to churches where the light can do. You have missed the mark. Because your candle will burn and burn out. It will melt. But we have a, a, a candle that can never, never burn. Jesus, the light of the world. He is the permanent and everlasting candle. Hallelujah. If you are still going to wear the wear white garments, in order for you to be acceptable to God, Jesus has become our righteousness. It's our clothing of holiness. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. And in case you are still walking around barefooted, through no shoes, trying to please God because of Moses, we have a better high priest. Glory be to God forevermore. So anything you are trying to copy in the form of Old Testament, Bible calls it inferior. We have a better covenant based upon better promises. Glory be to God forevermore. And if you are still packaging, let me leave that. It It will take my time today. Glory be to God forevermore. I remember a lady who came to my office. And you would think that some of these people, the way they dress, the way they look nice, the way they do their wig, you would think that they have common sense. You know, no, no, no common sense at all. You would think that they understand the things of God. That's why I realized that education does not, does not confer on you, it, it, it does not confer on you revelation. Dressing, sophistication does not confer on you revelation. Came to my office, well dressed, well kitted out. I said, he said, pastors, I'm sorry I came late. I said, well, because we have booked a previous appointment. I said, I'm sorry I came late. I said, what is the matter? I said, I'm coming from under Abu. You know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, let, let me explain it to you, you know. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a particular sect, a particular Christian sect, that in order for you to really get answer, you will go to church and just be there for seven days. Bible says in Christ there is a better tabernacle. Not, a, not, not, a, not one erected by a man's hand. Hallelujah. And, 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 and people think that they are worshipping God in that way. No. 
As far as the New Testament is concerned, there is no holy place per se. Anywhere you enter is a holy place. You know why? Because you carry Jesus with you. Do you get what I'm trying to say right now? You need to have a better understanding than them. If you are thinking about this building, Sheraton Hilton is finer than this place. Does it mean God is present more there than this place? No. You know why this place is special? Because this is where we gather. You have God, I have God, you have Christ, I have Christ, you have Holy Spirit. And when we all gather, it turns this place to a sanctuary. That means if we go right now and rented a hotel, a hotel their, 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 their conference room, for the moment that we are there, before they bring their beer and their, are you hearing me? That becomes what? The sanctuary. Because we are here, we are there. Hallelujah. Bible calls him the minister of a better sanctuary. Hallelujah. Let the understanding of these things dwell in you. It will make your life, you will live life unrestricted. Glory be to God forevermore. And we said this, this New Testament is unique. Remember what we said? Holy Spirit upon, Holy Spirit within, authority, the name of we take mention so many things that this uh, that makes the new te- the new covenant unique. And we said God also finding force with the Old Testament. I began to t- tell you about the faults that God found with the Old Testament. We said number one, it was it, it was a shadow, it was a photocopy. We said that it was it was administered by inferior priesthood. It was being it was being uh, 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 and it was also done carried out by inferior sacrifice. The blessings under the new under the Old Testament is conditional. If you don't fulfill all the all the conditions, you will not get blessed. And if you fail in one, you are failed in all. You know, and all that stuff. I, I will say what the Old Testament reveals is your sins. It showcases man's sins. And I will say there's no law, there's no law that can give man zoe, that can give man life. That's why God and the purpose of God, because when we when Adam sinned, man died. And the God has been looking for a way to give man life. And that is why Christ had to come so that we can have life. Bible says he that has the son has life. Hallelujah. So tell, tell yourself, I have life. Because I have Christ. Hallelujah. You don't have life because your, your parents gave back to you. There are many people who are walking on the street who are dead. We are talking about the life of God. Say amen to that. And that was makes the difference. The life of God in you. Glory be to God forevermore. Let me show you the seventh one today about uh, the, the fourth with the Old Testament and we try to balance up on that and then when next time you see me, I'll be talking about lesson four. I wanted to tell, I have gone to tell you about the advantages of the New Testament, which will take, which are about ten of them, but I don't want to go into that. If we take this lesson three, we will not finish. That we are looking at twenty twenty three, when they're about to do election. No, no, no. Hallelujah! And we are doing fourteen lessons. And we are lesson three since the beginning of this church. No, 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 no. Let us make progress. Hallelujah! Let, let's let's round up right now since it's actually a holiday. So when we resume, we are going to. <laughs> We we'll come back to a new sem- a new semester. <laughs> lesson four, Hallelujah! But if you want details of lesson three, maybe I can give you part of my notes. After paying after paying hundred thousand, okay? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't get it free of charge. Glory be to God forever, man. Because I did, I too I worked hard to get it, so you have to pay me for that. Okay, let's go. On. Okay, <laughs> number seven. I said, uh, okay, there is no law. Eh? How do I put it? Yeah. Write it this way. Another fault with the Old Testament is that the law can never make anyone perfect. The Old Testament can never, never make anyone perfect. No matter how you try, you can't come out, come out with perfection. Glory be to God forevermore. Hebrew chapter 7. Hebrew chapter 7. Ah! I saw good, man. I saw good. I saw good. My sister, I saw good. Ah, I saw good. When I gave my life to Christ, ah, I saw good. Because, man, I will try, but I, ne- I was never, I just knew there was God between me and God. Every time, because even when we go to church, the pastor does not tell us what is right with us. He tells us everything that is wrong with us. All of you that gossip yesterday, all of you that watched football yesterday, all of you that did this yesterday, hey, I said, God, oh. it was tough. I, the more I try to please God, the more it's like, I, I, it's like the, I'm doomed, I'm, I'm going to hell. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, we fell far, it was terrible. The, the pastor who was pastor at our church will tell us, I remember him like yesterday. He said, look, why are you deceiving yourself? We that we are trying, our, our mates are playing football, they are enjoying their lives. 
We are trying to come to church. Why are you deceiving yourself? He said, God cannot even accept 99.9 from you. <laughs> In fact, good dress because the man, the man who was a pastor at that time, he had eczema all over, very dirty. <laughs> so we thought that was, this is how he'd be doing his body when he's talking. Because he's always itching. You know him now. So we thought that was a symbol of holiness. We didn't know. We thought anything good was sinful. Because if you go by the mentality of the law, that's what you think that God is doing. You'll be treating your body in a harsh way because you are trying to please God. You think the more harsh you are with your body, the more closer you are to God. It is a wrong mentality. Hallelujah. Amen. Hebrews 7. Let's begin to read something. Hebrews chapter 7. Let's start from verse 18. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 18. I have limited time. It will take a bit of more time today, but we'll, we'll get somewhere. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 18. No, 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 who's that? Please. Look for your phone. Either you throw it outside or something. For on the one hand, there's an anomaly of the former commandment because of what? Of its weakness. And what? And unprofitableness. He said the law, everything, it, was, it has weakness and it was what? Unprofitable. Verse 19. Verse 19. Yeah? For the law, what? Made nothing perfect. No matter how you keep it, you can never, never be perfect. For the law made nothing perfect. When it says nothing, it means nothing. nothing. Moses, everybody under it. David, everybody under it. He made nothing perfect. On the other hand, there is the bringing of a better hope through which we draw near to God. Let me, t- let me tell you what he said. Let me tell you what he said. The Lord made nothing perfect. He now said on the other hand, there is the bringing of a better hope which draws us near to God. Which means the imperfection that the law projects makes us run away from God. This is the idea. This is the idea. It's very simple. Bonabe, I come to visit you. I see you and your wife. I greet all of you. Every day, I'm coming to your house. I think I've been to your house only once. You need to invite me. Look at you. I come to your house. And when I get there, as I sit down, your wife takes broom. You sweep my leg. I said, oh, there's no problem. He said, my wife is just a bit finicky. I get quiet. Are you hearing me? Then, as I sit a little, she, she brings air fresh now. Shh, 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 shh. I, I said, oh, there's no problem. He said, your perfume is too strong. Just time to dilute it. I get quiet. He brings cup. As I drink, I finish drinking with the cup, with the water. In my presence, he carries a cup. And throw it inside those bin. I, I said, oh, there's no problem. I said, she doesn't use any code that anybody uses. I, I kept uh, quiet. Uh, as I am talking, she comes from the room. She said, shh, 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 please lower your voice. Lower your voice. She doesn't like people that talk. <laughs> lower your voice. Are you hearing me? And then she comes back again. He said, who's that with you? I said, it's Leko. I said, no, please let him go out. I don't like people that come to the house with two people. I can only take one person. Please let him. Uh, uh, if I come back there, uh, I am a bee. <laughs> I don't want to use, I don't want to use complete word. <laughs> if I come back to that house, I am what? A bee. I cannot come back. You know why? Because when I went there, he showed me, she showed me everything that was wrong with me. You don't go back there. People that criticize you don't go near them. People that every time you go near them, ah, your wig is not right. Your, t- uh, your, t- your beard is not right. Your glasses is wrong. Your shirt is not right. Nothing is ever right with you. You don't go near them. But everywhere you go and you say, wow, you are welcome. You go there. So that is why some of you, your wives, your, 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 your wives, that's why your husband doesn't stay at home. Every time she shows up, he shows up at home. Everything that's wrong with him. You are smelling beer. You are smelling this. Look at your life. You come back. You are off. You are this. Look at where you drop your shoe. He will go to his friend. Where they will stay. Hey! 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You are welcome. Oh no, yeah, yeah. They, they don't care. They don't care. They go to where they celebrated. Because when you show up before the law, it's all criticism. It shows you all your faults. The Bible said, because of that, we run away from God. The Bible said, but the better hope showed up whereby we draw near to God. So the effect of the law is that it drew us away from God. The showing up of a better hope draw us near to God. And in case you are wondering what is the hope, what is the better hope, his name is called Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. First, Peter, first Timothy chapter 1. First Timothy chapter 1. So don't say a better hope. You are hoping for the future. No, that is not the... It's a person. The hope in the New Testament world is a person. It's not a definition of something. Look, look, at, look, look at verse 1. Everybody, look at Let us read it. Chapter 1, verse 1. It's very easy for you to remember. One, two, go. Paul, an apostle of who? Of Jesus. Who? Of Jesus Christ. By the commandment of God, our Savior, and the Lord Jesus Christ, our what? That's our hope. So the showing up of a better hope drew us near to God. So okay, so the showing up of Jesus drew us near to God. Glory be to God forevermore. And in case you are wondering what is it about Jesus that drew us to God, let me give you three. Three. Number one, we are complete in him. That is why we draw near. Let me, I will explain that to you. If, if you have grown old enough and you will understand something, I will read the scripture. Let me read the scripture to you anyway. Colossians chapter 2. <laughs> Colossians chapter 2. Let me hurry up. Hope you are getting something here to this moment, right? I don't get it. Somebody say, I feel far from God. It's your feeling. You are feeling, you are feeling. You don't have to feel Jim Jim. God is not a feeling. You walk with God by faith. It has nothing to do with your feeling. He's always there. He's always near because of Jesus. Say amen to that. Amen. Wow. Verse 8. Verse 8. And I'll, I'll, let me quickly read this place so I explain something to you. Beware. Say beware. beware. Lest anyone what? Cheat you. Through what? Through philosophy and empty word deceit. According to tradition of men. According to what? To the basic principle of this word and not according to Christ. The teaching philosophy, they call it doctrine. God, prayers are better answered between the hours of 12 and 3 a.m. Philosophy of men. You are talking about men. It's men that you are thinking about. The God we serve, there's no night nor day with him. But, and what you call your 12 a.m. is somebody's 1 a.m. It's somebody's afternoon in Australia. And he's the God of the universe. So why do you think your 2 to 5, 3 a.m. is special? When it's about 4 p.m. in the U.S. So what is special to you about that? And the Bible says another list of slumber. So it's not going to wake up for sleep. Hey, you are praying. Kai, what are you saying? Yeah. It's your mentality. Anytime you call him, he will answer. Many times you call him, what? He answers. Hallelujah. Beware lest anyone cheat you. You are being cheated. Through philosophy and FTDC, according to the tradition of men. These are some of the things we learn from Babala Wo. They go to the assembly in the night. That is when they go, go to go and do their courtism, everything. So we want to transfer the same thing to Christianity. It's not so. Let me leave you. Some of you are too, you are too modern to understand what we are saying. You are too modern. When they want to carry a ball, you know a ball. You don't know a ball. You are too mad. You are too mad. That's what I'm saying. Sacrifice. You never see anybody do sacrifice in the afternoon. Carry like this. Says going to Ritameta. Are you hearing me? Going to uh, where 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 road met. You know, uh, you know a junction where, where they drop that thing. You can never never see somebody in the afternoon going to drop. It's in the night because that's where they think that the the, the, the spiritual atmosphere is conducive. I will transfer the same thing to Christianity. You know what's the difference between when you pray in the night and when you pray in the day? Philosophy of men. According to the basic principle of this world, I'm not according to Christ. Glory be to God forevermore. Go on. Verse 9. Quick, quick, quick. 
For in him, what? Do us what? All the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That means everything you want to know about God is packaged in Christ. The fullness of what you call the Godhead. Everything you want to know about God, his power, his character, his nature, everything you want to know about God is packaged totally and put in Christ. And the Bible says, verse 10, verse 10, go on, and you are what? Complete in him. Do you say what I said right now? This is the idea. This is the idea. Uh, so, come. Where is it? Okay, come. This is the idea. You mean, I know, I, let me look for, yeah. See general there? At the end. You don't know, not that I'm going to trouble you after this. I'll just say that's general. Okay. If you go to general's office, eh, they will likely drive you out. They don't know you. What we say we are going there to do? Even the day the wife went there, before they married, she went to, she went, she went to the office. She now said, I'm looking for Anthony. She doesn't know that Anthony is the, is the one at home. They ask her, just, they wanted to ask her to kneel down. He said, he said, you're asking for who? He said, Anthony. They went, that one went and told the, the commanding officer. He said, that lady says, she's looking for Anthony. We are looking for Anthony. Hey. <laughs> it was maybe one of the children that was driving. Who saw, eh? This is the girlfriend of a girl. No. They would have dreed her. You are looking for Anthony. Hey. He let Anthony, Anthony is home. Here, commander. So you want to go there? They would, you are, they won't go see him. That's how you will see him. Let me tell you the truth. You can't see him. It's sure that can allow you to see him. You cannot see him. So, but if I go there, I feel my, my name and I send it in. Pastor T, please, 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 please. And I go with you. I said, we are two people. My presence has made you accepted. It does not matter how you look, what you are, everything. My presence has made you complete. Your presence with me makes you complete. And that if you go back on your own, you may suffer consequences. Do you get what we are trying to say right now? And you are complete what? In him. He didn't say you are faultless in him. He didn't say you don't have weakness in him. He says you are complete in him. That means his completeness has been given to overwhelm everything people call fault. As far as, the, as God is concerned. Do you get what we are trying to say right now? Yes, Tell yourself, I am complete I am in him. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number two. Christ is our covering. Christ is our what? Our covering. Galatians chapter three. That's why we can draw near. The, 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 the evangelist of a better hope. True, we can draw near. We can come boldly. Hallelujah. Amen. Galatians chapter 3, verse 26. Galatians 3, 26. Are you there? So, number one, let's go. Verse 6, let's go. Verse 26, let's go. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Verse 27. Verse 27. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on that's your covering. Glory be to God forevermore. I don't know the color of your singlet. Some of your singlets are not singlets. They are nets. They have holes. You call them white. They're between you and me. They are cream. They are black. They are all manners of color, especially men. Hallelujah. But you know what? We don't get to see them because you have been covered. You are put on. Hallelujah. As many of you as have been baptized into Christ are put on Christ. That is why it becomes your covering. Your fault no longer shows as far as the heaven is concerned. Christ has become what? Your covering. Say, Christ has become what? Your covering. Hallelujah. Amen. 
can we do it this way, Pastor DJ? Okay, yeah, no, don't worry, let me use this. Uh, can I, okay, you know, um, look forward, let me just look front. Just look front. Look front. Don't look at me, just be looking front. Be looking at your, be fronting your look. Hallelujah. Be fronting your look. Some of you are a bit intelligent, you get it. But be fronting and be looking front. Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Okay, no, 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 I can't, I, I'm looking for, hallelujah. Just be fronting your looks, don't look behind, hallelujah. Be fronting your looks, praise God, but you will get this thing. Okay, be fronting your looks, hallelujah. Be fronting your looks, aha, uh-huh. hallelujah, aha. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, come, be fronting your look, I'm, di- I'm directing you, don't worry, if I'm, li- I'm leading you. If I don't need you, you will fall down. Just be following me, don't worry. You are too stiff, just walk, don't worry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, sorry, 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 sorry. Hallelujah. I want you to guess who this is. For those of you who have seen him earlier, maybe you will guess. But if you have not seen him earlier, can you guess who this is? Hallelujah. That is how it, see, Bible says, oh my God. Who? Hey! You know what Bible says? If anybody be in Christ, it's a new creation. In Christ. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Anybody that thought they knew you, but they don't really know you. You know why? We have been covered with Christ. For as men as been baptized, are put on what? Christ. So that means if I take a look at it, what I'm seeing right now is the covering. When God looks at you, what does God see? The covering, the Christ. Christ in you, the hope of glory. That is what God sees, not you. So you can go and pray confidently before God. He sees Christ in you, not you. If it's just for you, you will get nothing. But for the Christ, he sees in you, the covering. Hallelujah. So you know him right now. Get out. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can see why we are effective in the spirit realm. Because if it's about you, your presence will not carry anything. But Christ, glory be to God forever. That's what we are trying to say. The Lord made nothing perfect, but the appearance of a better hope by which we draw near to God, near to God makes everything perfect. Number one, because in him we are complete. Number two, he is our cover. And number three, as he is, so are we. First John chapter four. Uh, this is not two face. Your face show, your teeth shine. <laughs> That's not what we are doing here. We are teaching scriptures. Read scriptures. Glory be to God forevermore. You need to write your references, write your points, so that when you go back home, you can go and check. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not here for fashion parade. We are here for life changing times. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you are not doing pastor any favor by coming. Don't think all those madness. Take it from your mind. That kai kai if I, 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 I just. No, 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 no. You learn the things of God for your own good. Yes. That's what the Bible says. Yes. For your own good. In case you think we are just making out, Job chapter 5. Let me show you. Thank God. I'll just, let me show you that. We'll come back to what I'm teaching. Let me just show you a scripture. Job chapter 5. Verse 24. Go back. Go, go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Job 5. Job 5. 24. Go there. You shall know that your tent is in peace. You shall visit your dwelling and find nothing. I may say amen to that. Amen. And in Jesus' name, that will be your testimony. Amen. You visit your tent, visit your dwelling place, you visit your business places, you will find nothing missing. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Verse 25. Verse 25. Go on. Go on. Go on. You look at what? You shall also know that your descendants shall be many. And your offspring like what? The grass of the earth. Verse 26, verse 26. Really? You shall come to your grave at a full age, as a sheaf of grey, ripens a word in a season. Verse 27. Behold, this we have searched down. It is true. Hear it, I know it for what? Another pastor says, hear it, I know it for your good. Know it for what? For your good. So whatever you know is for your good. You are not learning Bible for pastor's good. You are learning it for what? For your good. For your good. 
Look at her. Oh, thank you. God, whoever is doing that this morning, God bless you. Look at what it says. That is what we have searched out. It is true. Hear it and heed it and know it for yourself. For what? For your good. It's for your good. Bible that you are learning, coming to church is for your good. Oh, this is come to our church. Come to our church. It's for your good. It's for your good. So keep that mentality that I, I, just, I just showed up to, to help them in that church. You are not, you, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Keep, keep, just kill the mentality. Shoot. If I have mentality, tie bomb around it, I explode the bomb. <laughs> kill it. Whatever you are knowing about God, it's for your good. Before you came to church this morning, how was your confidence before God? Maybe your confidence was low. Based on the reason what we have said right now, your confidence before God has increased. Your faith in God has increased. It's for your good. Go back, First John, chapter four, chapter four, verse seventeen. I will now rush. Verse four, verse seventeen. Think it says, uh, amplified. Okay. Look at what. Oh, <laughs> love has been perfected among us in this. Look at this. That we may have what boldness in the day of judgment. Hey. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because as he is, so are we in this world. He said, apart from this better hope called Christ, making us draw near to God, he says, even when it comes to judgment day, we appear before Christ with boldness. You know why? Because as he is, so are we. The day a judge convicts himself, that day can convict you. That means he sees himself in you. When you appear before him, the, what he sees is himself. And if he will not condemn himself, he will not condemn you. Do you get what we are trying to say right now? As he is. Not as he was so. As he is. Resurrected. Hallelujah. Without sin. Perfect. Seated on the right hand of the Father. As he is, so are we. Accept him by faith. Are you hearing me? And tell yourself, as he is, so am I. He didn't say when we get to the other side in this world. As he is, so are we in this world. Wow. These are high things, man. Why are you afraid to stand before a demon and say, demon, come out? Can Satan overcome Jesus? Can which is key Jesus? Do you go out right now? If as he is, so are we. Why are you afraid? As he is. Glory be to God forevermore. Let this truth wash your mind. Bombard yourself with this truth. Let them dwell in you. Glory be to God forevermore. As he is, so are we. Glory be to God forevermore. You know what, do, do you know what you use? What you do, what you do with the, all I've told you today? Mm, my time is nearly it's gone. Self, self. One minute left. You don't know what, what, what to do with what I've told you today. Eh? Use it to change your life. Yes. Just use it to change your life. Use your nearness to change your life. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if you are the right hand man hmm, of your state governor hmm, and you went and you were appointed or you got and then when you when you became governor hmm, your you had 10,000 naira balance in your account. You are staying with your brother, but you are his classmate and he remembered you and he made you the chief of staff. The first person sits in the morning, the last person sits in the night. Chief of staff. After eight years in office, you went back to your brother's house. <laughs> sure, you know, this one is not, it's not as if Aye is doing you. <laughs> The whole, the whole <laughs> something is fundamentally wrong. You know, you know what? With that position, you don't need to, to eat money. You don't need to cheat anybody. You understand what I'm trying to say? You don't need to. You don't need to. Influence alone. Open the door for people alone. Connect people, connecting people alone. Participating in this alone. Speaking to Oga himself alone. Oga don't have household. Anything for the boys? He said, We are auctioning that one now. 
whatever you can pay. There is a land in GRA, people are commissioner of works, whatever they are, and lands. Uh, tell him to give you one, not that you are, tell him to give you the one on the right side. That one. Tell ah. him to give you that one. Uh, 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 two of your brothers, bring their names and let me put them on board of Coco Research Institute and this one and that one. Uh, play, so all the cast we are using, when you are going now, go with them, I will, I will, sign, I will sign off on them. You get what we are trying to say now? If you go back to where you are, you get what I'm saying now? If we are this close to Christ, we are seeing so are we. Perfect and complete in him. Put on Christ. A better way that we can draw near to God. If your life remains the same as a Christian, after two years, you don't know what you are doing. You don't know what you are doing. That is why I look at people who take Christianity with like a attitude and just continue uh, the going from prayer house to prayer house. You are very stupid, actually. No, no, you are very stupid. Because what is written is written for all. Nobody is closer to God than you. Hallelujah. So if your life remains say two years without going to him and talking to him, Christ, I've been, oh God, I've been in this Abuja now. It's four years. I know, but ah, Bible says, if I'm willing, I'll be dead. I will eat the good of the land. You need to show me the good of the land. Guide me, order my steps. Lead me a step at a time. And you are talking to him. And you are bold. And you are willing to take steps. Not just a, a prayer ir- 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 irredentist. And you are willing to connect. And you are dealing with your weaknesses. Because some of you, God will link you with people. In three days, you will fight them. That's all it takes you. Three weeks, you will fight them. You go there. Say, <laughs> Pastor T. That guy, it's not what I thought he was. When I got to his office, he asked me for a wait for three hours. And when he came, after, after three hours, I got there at nine. Pastor T, I'm not like that. After he came out at one o'clock, he just said, hey, you are the guy? Oh, you are welcome. I'm going for a meeting now. Can we use the for tomorrow? After I waited for three hours, it's scheduling again. I can never go back there. You know what? You will remain there for a long time. Because you are not dealing with your flesh. God may send you to them, but you are meeting men, not God. Deal with this weakness. You fight people too much. Christ will not, will not favor you. Take the patience of Christ. Take the character of Christ to back up your prayer life. You will get a result. You, what you want to do? You want to take your own fleshly behavior, your bad behavior, and think that God... No, that will not work. Why you look like him in the spirit realm? Men will still judge you based on what they see. Do you get what we are saying right now? Well, you are so ugly. Sleeping, sleeping. You are a small girl. When you grow up, you are saying, Father, that is stiff in you. Mom is stiff in you. When you learn what we are learning, when, we, when you have to pay rent, you will wake up. <laughs> don't have any problem. Sleep on. My darling, if you don't sleep right now, it's a sin. Continue sleeping. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Look at what we are saying right now. Use, that, this, use your clueless way. Use it way. How? If I help anybody here this morning. Genesis 25. Let me just round up on this. Let me round up on this. Sky. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Verse 20, as we close. 25, verse 20. Wow. Hope you got something here this morning, right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Where, where is it? Yeah. Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebecca his, as wife. And the do- the, uh, that's the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian. By the Aram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. Okay, go on, verse 21. Let's go on. Now Isaac pleaded with the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord granted his plea, and Rebekah, his wife, what? Conceived. Now look at what he did. He was having a problem. He used his closeness to God to plead on behalf of his wife. Don't complain. Plead. Go before him to plead. To plead your case. And look at verse 20, 22. But the children struggle together with her, within her. And she said, if all is well, why am I like this? Oh my God. Do you see what we are, what we are saying here right now? No, 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 no. Are you hearing me? This is the fourth year 
third year, you are squatting with your brother, you are squatting with your sister. Abba, if all is well, why am I like this? I've graduated from school. This is the fifth year. I've not secured any good job. If all is well, why am I like this? I've dated four men. As we are getting close to marriage, all of them ran away. If all is well, why am I like this? I've submitted a proposal here and there. Nothing is jelly. If it's well, if all is well, why am I like this? Ask questions. Take inventory of your life. Why am I like this? So what? She went to inquire of the Lord. She went to a prophet. Did she even go back to her husband who helped her to plead the first time? Now she know, now I now understand how to do it. When my husband did it, I got pregnant. I don't need to go to my husband again. I can do it now. She didn't go to her husband to do it for her. She did it by herself. She went to the Lord by herself to come for the Lord. And the Lord answered her, go on. And the Lord said to her, two nations are in your womb. Two people shall, uh, shall be separated from your body. One people shall be stronger than the other. And the older shall serve what? The younger. So when Esau sold the bad right, it was already ordained. Uh, Esau was weak. Esau was this. Esau was like, everything is playing out according to the plan of God. You see what I'm saying now? She went to inquire. I challenge you. I sat up this morning. Stop complaining. Go and inquire. Go and ask. Tell him exactly what you need. Talk to him. You are close to him. He will answer you. You don't need to send prayer request. Go and talk to him. Are you hearing me? Every August, there's a particular sickness that knocks you down. It's been happening for five years. If all is well, why am I like this? Why am I like this? Grandfather, great grandfather died at 45. Father, uh, grandfather, uh, great one died at, uh, grandfather died at 45. Or at 46, your father died at 48. Around the same time, now you are now you are 42. You are feeling symptoms already. Wow. Are you hearing me? If all is actually well, why am I go go before him? Go and inquire. Go and pray. Don't run around. All this running around prophet houses is stupid. Look, if you know Rebecca, you will know that her father was an idol worshiper. Serious idol worshiper. She's from Pandaram in Syria. They don't know God. But she learned it through her husband. And she began to follow God. Now you have been following Christ for how many years? Go and inquire. You get what I to say right now. Use your proximity to turn around your life. Use your proximity to turn around your life. Look to acceptance to God to turn around your life. Use your closeness to God to turn around your life. Because if all is actually well, why are we like this? God bless you. God keep you. God cause his face to shine upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You got something here this morning? <laughs> I'm excited. Glory be to God forever, man. Lift up your right hand. We are going to say something by faith here. By faith, Neil. We are going to say by faith, I'm going to believe God. Say, all is well. Are you hearing me? Say, all is well. With me. With my finances. With my children, with my health, with my career, with my future. Because I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And the Bible says, say to the righteous, it shall be well with me. Say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. Therefore, I say to myself, it is well with me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah. That's how, you, that's how you operate your life. Go before him. Make an inquiry. Just pray. Just talk. Just talk. Just talk. Just pray. Just talk. After you pray again, talk. Go and play. Come back again tonight. Pray. Are you hearing me? Set time. Show t- tell God that you are serious. Invest time into your future. Invest prayer into your future. Just talk to him. Are you hearing me? Yes. Glory be to God forevermore. And it's as he points out some things. Some of you, what you need to make, changes you need to make are not major. It could just be that you need to just put some scriptures more in your mouth. God could also talk to some of you about thanksgiving. Yes. Mm, that's as you go about in your life. Just, Father, I thank you. Father, I give you praise. 
It just tells you, you're not talking, just little adjustment here and there. Before you know it, this will begin to happen. Sometimes God will just lay demand on you. He will tell you, change your offering. He will tell you, change your offering. You are too stingy. He will you, change your offering. God will not tell you you are too stingy because he doesn't condemn. But he will tell you, change your offering. Why he told you to change your offering? He knows. I will not te- tell him to change the offering. I'm not a greedy person. I'm not looking for anything. He can tell you that because he told me that. He can tell you right now for throughout this month of August or September, I, you know, get back home by 6 p.m. and spend the hours of 6.30 to 7.30 to pray, one hour every evening. No, 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 no drinking. Just spend 7.30 to 8.30 every evening. No, even if Nigeria is playing Russia, we are not watching. 7.30 to 8.30. And when you invest that, if you are willing and you are obedient, you will see what God will do. And you don't get what I'm trying to say right now. It could just be a slight change. I remember in those days when God told me, every time I come back from school, I don't eat, I don't do anything. I just enter my room one hour straight. I don't, I won't eat, I won't do it. Once I say, hey, Kale, hey, welcome, hey, how are you doing? Tonight was today. I just go straight to my room, one hour. Straight. Every evening. It was in just one of those days that God came to my room. But I didn't know better that time. As he entered, I ran out. I've never seen that kind of power before. The whole room turned. I took off. Opposite direction. I opened the door. I ran out. So what today was happening? I said, I don't know. You two enter. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You will change your life. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, it could be on Saturday morning. You just say before you start all this your gragara. Just go somewhere. There are many gardens. Take a walk. Prayer walk. And just go around. Make a sato. Rabbi Secretary, Rabbi, and you invest two, three hours straight, yeah. and you come back home. So I'll go to play your life away on football feed. Yeah. I've rounded up. Everything's best for the people of God to winter. Step out of the nest, spread your wings and soar, surrender. Epignosis, concise knowledge.